Hi, it's Kristen Tollefson, the Education Director at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action Bema from Home. Today we're going to take a creative textile approach to taking care of objects. Mending, and in the case of socks, darning, is a great practice for repairing holes. You can do it on any number of knit objects, but you can also do it on woven objects as well. The steps are fairly simple. You need a needle, some thread or yarn, and some sort of a hard object that you can put behind what you're working on that you can stitch against. I'll show you. Darning is a lot like weaving and I've set up a little template here to just remind you how to do this. It's a piece of paper that I've cut into strips that would resemble what I've done stitching in one direction to fill up the hole. Um, this will be my what's called the warp. The weft or the stitches that go in the opposite direction will go over and under and over and under and over and under and over. The next row will do the opposite. It will go under and over, under and over, under and over, and come out the other side. What you're going to see is that um, it starts to make kind of a checkerboard pattern here. Each time you stitch, you will try to pick up the opposite stitch so that you create a nice, strong, dimensional weave going in both directions. This little diagram shows you more or less what you'll end up with. The work that I'm going to demonstrate is very interpretive. It's not as precise as many people will show for mending, but you get the idea of what a woven piece of fabric or thread would look like. Here I've assembled the tools that I need to start with. I have my object for darning. I have some thread. This is called pearl cotton, and it comes in a variety of sizes. I prefer the size that is five weight. It's a little bit thicker. You could easily use yarn um, or even a heavy duty sewing machine thread. I've also got two separate needles. Um, I don't know if you can see here. One is a yarn needle and one is a longer, thinner needle. Both of them have big holes, big eyes at the end. I have a pair of scissors. Um, what we're aiming for is a repair that looks a little bit like this. I have another one that I'm going to be working on. Um, I mentioned that there are things that you can put inside to make a hard surface to work on. This is a darning egg. It's a wooden form that is smoothed out. The idea is that you stick it inside the object that you're working on and you're able to pull this tight over it to create a hard surface underneath so you don't catch the fabric with your needle. What I've discovered is that there are any number of other solutions for that as well, including a little bottle that used to have a soft drink in it. This one's really handy because you can not only stick it inside, but you have uh, the neck of the bottle to hold on to. So I'm going to use this. You're going to take your thread and put it through the needle but this time you're going to leave the end without a knot. With your thread, you insert and come out at about 10 centimeters from where you put the needle in, leaving a tail hanging out. 
from this point, you're going to stitch up and down, catching the fabric. to create a framework around the area that you are repairing. This will create an anchor for you to stitch onto to create your repair. From this point, you're going to create a warp, which will be parallel lines of threads going across in this direction. The object will be to create a, a base from which you can weave up and down and basically weave a new surface of, of fabric within this worn spot. Now you can see I've established my warp. Next, I'm going to take my thread and stitch it going in the opposite direction. This will be my weft. And in doing so, I will go up and down and up and down and create a little woven patch here that will reinforce the area that was worn. Here you can see that I have woven in and out both directions and it's made a very nice sturdy patch to cover up the hole. My work is not terribly neat. Uh, there are many, many tutorials on how to do mending and darning that show you a very precise way. Mine is a little bit more interpretive, but it got the job done. I'm going to take these threads and trim them off. on the outside and I will show you what it looks like when I turn the sock inside out. These threads are, they don't need knots because you've woven them in very tightly but I do leave a little end. There you have it. Giving objects a second life by taking care of them or repairing them is a really good way to spend time valuing your work as well as the things you surround yourself with while also taking care of the planet. If you're working on a repair job or if you've been inspired to create something based on this art in action, please send us a comment or let us know by posting a photo. We'd love to hear from you. And until the next time, it's art in action.